Hi everyone and all you M maniacs, welcome to back game. to match number four of ML Plays FIFA 15, Hartlepool versus Cambridge United and today we Let's are doing the, the first game of the of Capital the One Cup. Cup. I know in the, the last around, game that, that we played against Bradford City, I referred to it as the Carling Cup at the end, and I know that it hasn't been called that Ball since 2012, but unfortunately City. it's what I remember it as. But now I'll try and refer to it as the Capital One Cup Derby in future. County, anyway, Colchester today United. we've got Cambridge United Hull versus City, Hartlepool. Hull Cambridge Hull United are in the Town. black and yellow, and Hartlepool Peter are in the blue United and white as normal. Burnley. Cambridge United didn't manage also, to come up with us last season from Division 2. So uh, hopefully we can beat these. They shouldn't be too much of a challenge. They're in a lower division than us now. And I know that sounds a little bit elitist, but it's, it's true. Tie time anyway, we're going to be playing at home and, and we're going to the, the town park the and we're going to, we well, let's see if we can beat them. Match for you today. be nice United to see us get through this United. first round of the Capital One Cup. And, uh, well, our season hasn't got off to a very good start, if I'm honest with you. We lost the two pre-season friendlies that we played against Millionaire and locomotive and then in the last game that we played the first game of the season against Bradford City if you haven't seen it go and watch it we lost that as well 1-0 and they scored within the first minute well first five minutes of the game and we wasn't able to get back into it anyway this last few days we've been managing to do a bit more uh, training on the training ground and hopefully the passes will pull off today like they didn't do against Bradford City. All of our passes didn't seem to make it to wherever they this were needed the to go to. Side. But here's the Hartlepool lineup for today. We've got Barber in goal, Parnaby, Collins, Bates and Austin in the backs. Compton, Woods, Walker and M. Mau in the midfield. Alessandra and our new other new sign-in. Well, Alessandra's a new sign-in and we've got another new sign-in as well. I can't remember what his name is, and I'm not very go. good at pronouncing it, but I will try to do the best I can. Anyway, you know how I'm going to do the commentary, it's as I always do it. I will refer to the Hartlepool players as they, they, whoever they are, and I will refer to the other ones as Cambridge United player. Anyway, we have kicked off, and it is now Hartlepool playing from right to left in this half. And uh, Cambridge are on the attack. Very good attack there by Cambridge. They've come down. They've got the crossover as well. They managed to get across and a header at goal. The goal is not happy with his defence there, telling them that they need to be uh, a bit more tighter on the player and sort out the marking. Simpson feels that he got fouled there as he went down in the area trying to go for the header. And the referee says, no, play on. The goalie smashes the ball back up the pitch for the, uh, for the goal kick. But it's gone to the Cambridge player, the Cambridge player, trying to go past well, their mouth. Emma having none of it, he gets the ball. He goes the on the run, he's cut inside the one. He gets tackled, though, by the next defender that he comes to. to and it gets played out for a throw-in. Hartley Paul's throw. Thrown into Emma, knocked on to Parnaby. Parnaby looks up. Is he going to have a go at goal? He's so going for it, back. but he gets tackled just at the edge of the area. He goes down, the referee waves play on, and now Cambridge United on the attack again. He kind of got lost the in the well. middle of the park there. He didn't know what to do. He did have support with him, but he didn't play it forward. Referee waves play on again for another foul that went in there, and he may go back to that after. Here we go. The referee going to give a book in now. For Here's the foul that previously club, happened. Here's a new so. signing so the, for the club, uh, Lee Hoyer Kong. So I think that's how we pronounce it. I'm not too here. certain. But he's a new signing for the club. Uh, we've got him on a free transfer as well. So hopefully he'll be able to do something good for the club. He replaced his Marlon Hareward, Luke James, and also uh, Oscar Zawada. Anyway, they're on the edge of the area and they're taking it round. And what a lovely through ball there. He takes it round the keeper and unleashes a shot and hits a post. What a great start by Cambridge United. This first 15 minutes they've played so well. And if only that had got in there, that could have been a game changer. 
the Car Capital One Cup there flying out of your screen. That's what it looks like for anyone who doesn't know what the Capital One Cup looks like. It's the old Carling Cup. Or the old Milk Cup, if you want to go even further back in time. And the Rumbelows Cup. Huge. And the Worthington's Cup. It's had several names, but it's still the same cup. Anyway, the ball gets played forward. By the Cambridge United players. They're on the attack. They turn it, but they manage to lose it out to the Hartley Pool players who turn it and run inside. Attacking now. Now they're coming in to go Coming onto the edge of the area. He loses out to the defender. Blocks him out and takes a ball off him. And now they're passing it up the wing again. Nelson. He knocks it back into the other defender. He's got nowhere to go with it. And Compton charge it, charging it down to try and Alan stop here. him from getting the ball forward. Alan, what do you think about his form recently? Been struggling, hasn't he? It's not the kind of form that yeah, would become accustomed into to. Bates, Bates looks up, knocks on. it forwards to Woods. Woods passes Here's forward Lee. to uh, Lee Hoyo. Hoyo Kuya. Kuhn. Really good dog. Anyway, passes the ball forward to... Uh, to the defender and now has passed it back to the midfielder and now the strikers have got the ball for Cambridge they're on the edge of the area people coming down in support trying to get the ball oh, over no. ready for a goal for them they know that they need to beat Hartlepool here to progress in this tournament everybody likes progressing in cup play anyway yeah. the ball's played forward to Hartlepool, to uh, by Hartlepool but it gets intercepted now Luke Bates with the ball running forward That's neatly done. looks to play Challenge it out he's defender. still got the it's ball he's on the edge of the area he knocks Chance. it through to Hoyer Kuyun has a shot at goal his first shot of the uh, the season first shot for the uh, for the team oh, and it was on target point. it hit the keeper and the keeper had to make a great reaction save there and stop the ball from going in the net the only thing is, it's been all Cambridge United so far this half. They're looking to uh, to score and get that advantage against Hartlepool. Hartlepool seem to be getting the ball right down to the uh, the penalty area and then lose it out every time to the defenders. Maybe they might try another strategy in a few minutes, but at the moment, every time they get down to the defenders, it's getting taken off them, and that is not good at all. Over the touchline. In the news for a throw in. It gets thrown back in. His career. Cambridge. Only he knows looking forward. He right. knocks it across the pitch. In his body. You know, you need to think Plays it forward. It's in the middle of the park. And again, they Make seem the to be getting work. the pass off before the Hartlepool player gets to them. That time, though, it didn't happen. And he managed to get intercepted. Alessandro in the middle passes to Woods. Woods pass doesn't Challenge make it now. to him. And the ball gets taken off him. Lee. They managed to get it. I would call that a, new a Chinese, Korean or Japanese guy. I don't know where he's from. I'll call him Lee from now on. It'll be a lot easier for me rather than trying to pronounce his whole name. Hartlepool with a free kick. Collins to take it. He's looking around for people to move into space. Nobody moves, so he passes it forward to M. Mao. Loses the ball that straight away a by well a great tackle. tackle from the Cambridge player. But the, the tackle, it ricocheted Lee. off and went into a dead ball situation that Hartlepool have taken advantage of now. Hartlepool going up towards the, uh, the penalty area, but they get tackled once more by the defenders. They're not going to let anything through today, Cambridge aren't. They are trying to stop them from scoring every single time. Ball's played forward, there's a reaction shot there. Keeper saves it, the ricochet comes out and it's a goal to Cambridge. Right on the strike of half time. And Cambridge United, the goal come from nowhere. There was a shot at goal. The keeper saved it, parried it away. Should have really got hold of it and didn't manage to. And the ball gets smashed past Barber again. Here we go. Here's another look at it. Played for lovely through ball there. He hits it at the keeper. The keeper saves it. He should have caught it, really. The ricochet comes out and he smashes it straight into the net as the Hartlepool players look on. What a shocking time for them to score. Hartlepool not happy and there it is, Tom Elliott, the goal scorer. That's his first goal in the Capital One Cup this season. And it is Cambridge United 1, Hartlepool 0. Not good at all. 
Huck, well, first half played. The manager's going to have to have a bad team talk at half time here with the Hartlepool players because, well, Cambridge seemed to have been all over them in this half. And now, with the 1 0 advantage, they can just sit back and have a rest, really. But it don't look like they want to do that. They're trying to press forward again. And he's played it forward. It looked like he was offside there. The linesman doesn't flag for it. But he's still got the ball on the edge of the area. It goes out now for a throw-in. This, that goal has given Cambridge a new lease of life, basically. Now he's cutting inside. They're trying to the dribble it round the defenders. They don't manage to do so. And it finishes at here at half-time. Cambridge well United 1, Hartley Paul 0. What a first half for Cambridge, Cambridge to get a, get a oh, goal like that right on half-time. Don't deserve to be losing at the moment to Hartley Paul. But then again, you know, Cambridge have played, uh, played really well, passing it wise. But that was a lovely through ball that he managed to get through to him and unleashed it for the forward to strike and hit the goal. There's the scores from around the grounds. If you want to see them, pause it and rewind it. Anyway, let's resume this match. Second half to be played. Hartlepool playing from left to right. Cambridge United to kick off. Relax, Here we go. The English League Cup in the first 45 minutes. Second half starts now. Well, I think one or two no, passed it out wide. Cambridge well knocking it forward half. again. Delighted. Can have it back. Oh, lovely the back heel there by the Cambridge play. player. And they've played it through the defence again. The defence just looking at what's going on. And it's played across the front of goal. And there's another goal. Oh, my God. Cambridge 2, Hartley ball 0. The defenders, there was three of them, didn't manage to take the ball off the, off the striker. He just played it across the front of goal. And he side-foots it into the net. Three, three Hartlepool players get sold a dummy there. The ball gets played forwards. I think that's Franks again. Is it? Why is he trying to play defensively? I don't know. I couldn't really see his shirt name there, but he didn't. He was just crap. He should have stopped the ball and got it out. He didn't. And there you go. Harrison Dunk scores his first goal in the Capital One Cup. Surely that will have sealed this game for Cambridge United against Hartlepool. Hartlepool looking dishevelled here. They don't know what's hit them. They're in a bit of shock here. They thought that this would have been an easy cup tie and an easy win through to the next round. It's obviously not happened that way. And they are finding themselves 2-0 to, the, uh, to the bad, really. Let's see what they could do. There's still plenty and a half left to go. And the ball's not through for Alessandro. He has to go at goal. That's his first attempt at goal this game. And he just puts it past the post. The keeper come out, made himself really well known there. And stopped him from scoring. Brilliant play though by Alessandro. And Hartlepool really trying to get back into this game. There's only 52 minutes been played. So there's plenty of time left to go yet ball crossed in punched away by the keeper only as far as the as uh, Parnaby sorry Compton who doesn't manage to get the shot back at goal and uh, it got cleared by the defender I'm gonna make a substitution I'm gonna take off Brad Walker and bring on Tommy Miller we know that Miller can score goals from distance and I think the manager has seen something in this goalkeeper of the opposition that he feels he'll be able to beat him from distance so he's bringing on Tommy Miller for a go round of applause for Tommy Miller coming on and applause for uh, Walker going off anyway the ball gets thrown back in Alessandro with the ball on the edge of the area he turns and he shoots and he scores that's his first goal what a what a goal he just turned and smashed it done the goalie just doesn't know what's hit him there Great goal, he just turned, hits a ball, he knows where the goal is and he smashes it past Dunn. Dunn just looks in disbelief, three defenders around him and that has brought Hartley pulled back into this game. It is currently Cambridge United 2, Hartley Paul 1, Lewis Alessandro with his first goal for the club and his first goal for the uh, for in the Capital One Cup and let's hope that's the first one of many. So, 55 minutes played, and Hartlepool now are trying to make this into a game. Miller comes and tackles. 
Can he turn away from the challenge here? Lee trying to come Here's across Taylor. for the ball. Gets turned. They play it to the other the defender. Team. He knocks it forward to the other defender and passes it back. He looks forward. He's playing it up the Very wing. He turns, knocks, pushes Emmau out the way. Turns Emmau and then tries to knock it forward. Emmau gets a foot stuck in now. The ricochet goes out to the striker who looks forward to knock it forward again. Doesn't manage to do so. Bates comes in, takes a ball and it goes out for a throw in. Off the player. It is a substitution now. Cambridge United now going to uh, make a substitution, a try and keep hope. hold of this lead. Hartlepool also going to bring on Hawkins and take off Woods. Woods hasn't really done much this match, unfortunately. But uh, let's see what Hawkins could do. We know that Hawkins is a super sub. So we'll see if he can get us back into this game and equalise it at two, to 2-2. Two, two. Currently 2-1 to and Cambridge. About to make a Ball play to Miller. Miller knocks it forward to Alessandra as well. The goal scorer loses That's out to the to defender the and now they're playing it back up the pitch. Knocks it out wide. And he plays it forward. What a beautiful pass by Cambridge. The pass in today is immaculate. He gets a crossover. The defender gets a header on it and clears it out to Emmau. Evan our turn starts running up the field with the ball. He's come to a defender. He knocks it into Alessandra. Alessandra takes it round the one defender. He tries to take it round the other one, but it gets taken off him. And the really defender well clears done. it, smashes it, Good tries defending. to get it out of play. It doesn't manage to do so. It's kept End in up. play. Knocked to M. Mao. Alessandra with a ball again, just about to unleash a shot. The defender comes and takes a ball Jeez. off him. And it's played forward now to the striker. He tries to get past the midfielders, but he doesn't manage to do so. Alessandra again now with a ball. Martley Paul now got to breathe another lease of life. Lee with a ball. Has a shot and he scored! He scored on his debut for the club. What a goal! What a ball through there by Alessandra. And Lee, with not much to do, runs into the penalty area and smashes it straight past the keeper. That has brought it back to 2-2. What a game so far. First game of the season for Lee and he scores. First game for the club and he scored as well. Absolutely brilliant. I can see this being the start of good things for Hartlepool now that we've got two competent strikers up front. Let's hope that injuries don't plague us like they did last season. In the midfield area. Cambridge now with a ball, lovely through ball over team. the top. Well, Keeper comes out and some, collects it. Route one stuff here, Martin. He the rolls the ball minutes. forward to Parnaby. Parnaby knocks a ball up towards Franks. Doesn't Excellent manage to make the, uh, the make the pass. Made. The interception's made and it goes throw out now here. for a throw in again. What a game so far though, Cambridge 2, Hartlepool 2, at the start when we went 2-0 down I didn't think came, uh, I didn't think Hartlepool would be able to get back into this match but they've proved me wrong and they've, they've actually caught back into the match and now they've got the belief that they could win it. Well, they're going for the win aren't they in this match that's been so tight. Ball gets thrown into Franks, Franks knocks it forward to Lee. Lee turns the defender, he's running it through, he tries to knock the ball through to Alessandra. A bit of a, bit of a mix up in communication there, doesn't manage to get the ball to him. And uh, the ball's gone out for throwing, Compton throws it into Franks, Franks now turns. Tries to have a shot at goal, oh the keeper, it ricochets off the keeper and he's gone into the bottom corner. Goal, <laughs> Franks now with the goal. I thought that had gone wide, he had a shot at goal, it hit the keeper and he had an unlucky bobble and it just goes in the bottom corner past him. The keeper thought he'd saved it, he thought he was far, far enough over, the ball comes along, he sticks his foot out and plays it into his own net off the post. My word! What a match! It is now Hartley Ball 3! Cambridge United 2. What a game, 80 minutes. Now can Hartlepool hold this out for the last 10 minutes and stop them from scoring? This is now normally where Hartlepool really screw it up and lose the game because once they go in the lead, they always seem to let a goal in. Let's hope I haven't just done the curse of the commentator and made that happen on this game. 
Anyway, Cambridge now with a ball, plays it forward to the midfielder who turns, doesn't manage to keep hold of it. Parnaby takes the ball the off him, tries to knock it through to Alessandra to let him go on the run. He doesn't manage again. to do so. Good intercepting play. We're, We're in the, the last five minutes, minutes of uh, last five okay, minutes of this close. Capital One Cup uh, tie, an and it's currently Hartlepool three, Cambridge two. What a game so far! Proper goal thriller. And now Frank's on his own again. Now he's on. He's going. Alessandra doesn't run down with him, and he gets the defender comes and takes a ball defending. off him. He was right. looking for Alessandra to run down and help him out there, but he just didn't seem to do so. I don't know why he didn't do anything like that, but he seems to feel that he's done enough. The ball, he throw, plays it through to Alessandra, and the ball is gone offside. They've called an offside there. Um, yeah, he is offside, but it's only because of the tackle. It was, it was not accidental. Anyway, it's a free kick to Cambridge United. The last couple of minutes, the last dying seconds of this game. If they want to do anything, they've got five minutes of extra time to score a goal. He's played it in, and he's taken it around the keeper, and they've equalised. Oh, my God, they've equalised in the last dying seconds of this game. Lovely ball over the top. He takes it round the player, takes it round the keeper, and then smashes it into the net. And it's 3 3. What a cup tie this is! Nobody expected Cambridge to be one in the lead, two leading by two goals, and then three coming back to tie it equal after going down by three goals. Wow, what a game so far. Six goal thriller. And it's Hartlepool to kick off. Wow, is this game is going to finish. If it finishes at 3-3, uh, we will have extra time here. And then it will go to penalties if need be. The ball played forward to Compton. Compton has a shot at goal in the dying seconds. And the keeper just picks it up. No problems at all. The keeper, the keeper smashes the ball up the pitch and the referee blows for full time. It is going to go to extra time here. It is Hartlepool 3, Cambridge United 3. They both want to go through in this cup tie. They are not going to allow the other team to win this without a fight. What a game so far. I hope you guys are all enjoying this. Absolute brilliant. There's the scores from around the ground. A lot of final scores coming in there. But we're going to carry on now with extra time. It's Hartlepool to kick off. Hartlepool kicking from well, right to left this time. The ball goes to Compton. Compton now. knocks it forwards to Hawkins. Higher, Hawkins a danger a man in this time. sort of time. Yeah, sure we'll be the ball gets played forward to yeah, Lee, but he doesn't manage way. to get there. It gets cleared by the defender instead. Here's Alessandra Recent coming signing, forward now. now. What can he do? Will he be able to score a goal? Yeah, you don't want it the to ball be goes out for a throw in. It gets goal, thrown so into Austin. Austin looks up, there. knocks it across to Parnaby. Parnaby has a shot at goal. And the keeper goal, just takes it. Save. No problems at all. He hammers it up the field again. Ball gets played across. And Bates now with the ball, Bates. looks forward, tries to play the ball forward, but doesn't manage to do so. Gets intercepted by the midfielder. They knock it forward and they're on the run again. He tries to chip the keeper, but it doesn't work as he should have done. The keeper rolls it out. Bit silly to do there. Remember getting knocked out of the Capital One Cup last season because of a keeper doing a stupid move like that. Um, luckily enough he lives to breathe again that was a lovely volley and not too far away by the Cambridge United player Barber smashes the ball up the field the manager tells him keep it out of the area don't mess around don't play it like that again and now Hartlepool on the attack they lose out to the defender the defender knocking it up the wing Plays it forward up the wing. Lovely tackle there. And now Franks knocks it towards Lee. Lee passes to Compton. Compton now on the run. He's out of energy, it looks like. He tries to get the crossover, but the defender, sliding tackle, takes it out. No messing around. And manages to save him.
throw in now. Who's going to take it? Hartlepool messing around. Emma gets the ball, knocks it over to Hawkins. Hawkins has a shot of goal and he only just fizzes over the bar. That was close. We need to have another look at that. That was dipping just as he hit that. What a strike at goal. Less than a foot over. And he's going to get it. Hopefully he'll get it on target in a minute and put it in the back of the net. We're at 104 minutes played. And the goalie smashes the ball up the field. Has indicated. One extra minute to be played of this half of extra time. Ball played forward and ahead of there, and he's headed it past the post. The Cambridge player dunk. Guy who scored in the first uh, first part of the game just doesn't manage to get the header on target this time and puts it wide. He could have sealed the game there for Cambridge against Hartley Paul, but didn't manage to do so. Cambridge managed to breathe, uh, Hartlepool managed to breathe again, sorry. Ball gets played up and the referee blows for the referee end of this first half of extra time. Period of extra time. We will now have a second half of extra time and if we don't have a winner at the end of that, we are going to go to a penalty shootout. Hopefully it won't go to that, but we never know. We'll have to see. There's the full-time scores from around the grounds again. We're going to carry on with this match. Off we go. Well, right, just ball play forward now. then. The second period of extra time, second is period of extra time starts and Cambridge United on the attack. They keep taking it off. There's a tussle in the middle for the ball. And now it's Alessandro. He's broke free. Plays it through to Lee. Lee has a shot to goal. Full length straight. Full length save by the keeper there. Who manages to palm it away. Ball gets played out again. As far as Hawkins. Who turns and has a shot. And it's a goal. There we go. Hartley Paul 4. Cambridge 3. And Hawkins the danger man. Gets the ball after it's come back out off the keeper. It gets knocked back into him by Miller, I think it was. And he turns and smashes it past Dunn. What a goal. That's definitely that should have put Hartley Paul through to the next round. Let's hope that they can hold on to this lead now. They've gone ahead twice in this Capital One Cup. Now let's hope that they can keep this lead and go through to the next round. Seven goals here in this game. What a match for you guys at home. It's Hartley Paul four, Cambridge United three, and it still hasn't finished. Lovely ball there. And now Lee with the ball going on the run. He's gone past the defender. He has a shot, but it goes over the top of the bar. be too critical, but really, really poor. Now it's a goal kick. He hammers it up the field. Now Cambridge on the attack. Only a few minutes left. Lovely ball over the top. He goes for the head of the keeper. Comes out. Doesn't manage to get hold of it. The defender struggles to clear it. And it goes out there for a corner. What will Cambridge United do here? Surely if they can score a corner. This will make it an eight goal thriller. There's another look at the goal that Hawkins scored. The danger man who can put the ball in the net when he comes on as a super sub. He's proved to do that again today. Corner comes over. Keeper tries to get the ball ahead of a goal. Keeper completely misses it. I'm not too certain about this keeper at all. Barbers, he's having a bit of a shocker in this first couple of games of the season. I don't know whether it's nerves or I don't know whether it's because he's shit. Coulson there with a header it went over and he knows that he wasted that chance there Barber plays the ball out close Hartlepool now trying to wind the time down Hawkins. they know that they could go through to the next round with this now Hawkins passes to Alessandra Alessandra thinks he got fouled referee well, weighs play on tells him to get up ball played forward again now Cambridge coming into a dangerous attacking uh, position on the field 
He's knocked it back up. They're trying to get a different work, different work of the way into the box. And the header of goal just goes wide. There's two minutes of extra time to be played on this second half of extra time. And it is Hartlepool 4, Cambridge United 3. They came to uh, win this game. They really put it to Hartlepool. And it's been an absolute brilliant match. This has one of the best matches so far. And probably it will be one of the best matches of this season. Ball played forward. They still haven't finished yet. A looping header. Tries to beat the keeper but doesn't manage to do so. And it just goes over the top again by Coulson. I know that he'll be practising headers on the training ground next week. Anyway, Barber letting time run down. He smashes it up the field. The referee has a look at his watch. The ball gets played across the field now to the to the Cambridge United player. He looks forward. And there we go. The referee has blown. That is full time. It is finished here. Hartlepool 4, Cambridge United 3. What a game. The Hartlepool players applauding the supporters. The supporters going crazy. They know that they're through to the next round. What a game. Absolutely brilliant. They come from behind several times to go into the lead and at one point it, they were 2-0 down with Hartlepool and they come back and they've won it four, by four goals what a game what a load of goals goals from the likes of Lee and Alessandra on their debut for the club especially in the Carling Cup well it was Lee's debut Alessandra's played before but it was his first goal for the club both of them getting on the score sheet today. Hawkins coming on as a super sub and scoring a well, scoring the winning goal. And there was also Franks who got onto the goal uh, scoring sheet today with a lucky bobble from the keeper who put it into his own net. Hartlepool really did play well this game. First half, not so bad. Second half, an extra time. I think you'll agree with me that they played really, really well and deserve to get the win here. But unfortunately, like everything, one team has to win and one team has to lose. And today it was Hartley Paul's day. Oh, we never know what will happen in the next, uh, the next game of the Capital One Cup. But as you can see, here's the goals going in from the highlights. That was the goal from uh, Alessandro. And now here's the one from Lee, where he smashed it past the keeper. Absolute brilliant goal for his debut. I'm really happy with the lineup that we've got up front. They seem to be working That's really well together. Goal. And there's the Franks goal. The ball going off the keeper just into his bottom corner. He didn't mean to do it. It was a complete accident. And here was the equaliser in the That's last the minute the of the game. And that took it to extra time. Absolute brilliant strike there. A really good goal. And that took it to extra time. Here's the volley at goal where uh, the keeper completely messed up again. He's not been playing very well, this keeper hasn't. But uh, I think we know that, and I think the manager will know that. There was the shot by Hawkins. That was the warning strike to say, I'm on the pitch, I'm going to put it in the net. And then he has a header. That was when they, they just put it wide. That was Dunn's header at goal. And then there we go. Hawkins has a shot at goal again. He says, this is the second shot of goal. The next one I have is going in. And here we go. It gets knocked forward to Hawkins. And oh. then this time he just smashes it past the keeper and says, have a bit of that. I did warn you twice. I won't warn you again. And he put it into the net. And that was it. That was the goal that sealed this cup tie round and put Hartley Paul through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Absolute brilliant game. I hope you'll join us on the next one. The next game will be a uh, will be a season match. And as you can see, there you go. We went through. Here we go. The match rating for M. Mao, 6.5. Not very good at all for him. But uh, I'm just happy that English they've gone through. Cup. Here's Barnsley, the scores from one. around the grounds Fulham, anyway. Let's two. see how they did. Bolton Rovers, 2. Bournemouth, nil. Bolton Wanderers, nil. Bristol City, 1. Brighton and Hove Albion, 2. York City, 0. Burton Albion, 1. Coventry City, 0. Charlton Athletic, 2. Crew Alexandra, 0. Quite a few Chelsea joint Town, killings here, though. You Dagenham can see um, two. some of the teams further one. up. 
the leagues getting nil. knocked out by Crawley minnows. Town, you two, know, that's a Portsmouth, bit of a shocker. One. Derby County, four. Derby Colchester County United, with a really nil. good win there against Exeter Colchester, 4 0. Western North End, one. Gillingham, two. Gillingham beating Wigan Athletic. Athletic. That's a bit of After surprise, Exeter. to be honest with you. Mansfield Town, one. Leighton Orient, one. Ipswich Town, Leighton four. Orient, Mansfield one, four, Town, three, one. On they penalties. deserve the win there Hull by City, the looks of it. Three. Swindon Town, one. Ipswich Town, four. Mansfield Town, one. Leicester City, one. Wolverhampton Wanderers, one. Leicester City won 5-4 on penalties. So Leicester City, a three. premiership team, have uh, Millwall, gone four. against Wolves and had to go two. through on penalties. Forest, what a three. game that must AFC have been. Wimbledon, nil. Wow. Notts County, three. Birmingham City, two, after extra time. And Notts Oldham County Athletic, beating two. Birmingham Doncaster City. Rovers, what a good three. score that is. Peterborough United, one. Anyway, Burnley, I'd like two. to thank you all for watching. I hope you've one. enjoyed this game Hampton of Stanley, FIFA and I two. hope to see you on the Port next Vail, one. I'd two. hope you come back Harlan and help United, me support nil. Hartley Paul through Reading, these dark one. times of Division 1 football. Nil. Hopefully Rochdale, we'll get a win nil. on the next game. City, if you come and join Rochdale, us, United, come and cheer me on. Thank you very much for watching once again. I hope to see you on the next video and take care. And until then, United, two, Bye for Bury, now. Nil. Sheffield Wednesday, nil. Yeovil Town, one. Shrewsbury Town, one. Walsall, nil. Southend United, one. Fleetwood Town, nil. Watford, two. Blackpool, three. After extra time. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.